banded chest press can be used for any number of workout objectives, uh, whether it just be for the strength component or in this case, the power component. So if you don't have a wall uh, and or a med ball where you can do some powerful pushes into it, this would be a good substitute. Finding the right tension bands, you're gonna set up having it around a strong anchor so you don't pull it over. Set up like you would if you're um, doing a chest press. And from here, if you imagine you're holding a med ball, so the hands might be a little bit closer than doing a chest, uh, regular chest press. And from here, holding the med ball, and then with determining the right tension, what we want to do is we want to drive our arms forward like we're trying to throw a med ball as far or as powerfully as we can. So it's simply going to be an explosive drive out and then reload back in. Explosive drive out, reload back in. You can mess around with the size of the bands. Obviously too light, you're not gonna uh, have the required amount of uh, resistance, but if it's too heavy, the movement will be too slow and would be more uh, appropriate if it was a strength training session, but not, a, not for the power development. So we wanna think reasonable tension, but good velocity. 